Kilauea is erupting once again. The summit eruption started suddenly at approximately 9.30 p.m. on Sunday evening during a brief earthquake swarm that shook the south side of the caldera. Multiple fissures opened on the walls of the crater and lava cascaded into the summit water lake, boiling it away. A new lava lake then began forming at the base of the crater. Accordingly, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory elevated the volcano alert level to a warning and its aviation color code to red. A short time after the eruption began, a larger earthquake, measuring at a magnitude 4.4, shook the south flank of the volcano and was felt across the Big Island. The Hawaii County Civil Defense issued this radio message. This is a civil defense message. This is a local earthquake message for Sunday, December 20th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports an eruption at the Halima'uma'u crater of the Kilauea volcano. Trade winds will push any embedded ash toward the southwest. Fallout is likely in the Kau district in Wood Valley, Pahala, Nalehu, and Ocean View. Stay indoors to avoid ash exposure. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reports that the earthquake which occurred at approximately 10.36 p.m. in the vicinity of south flank of Kilauea was not large enough to cause a tsunami for Hawaii Island. I say again, there is no tsunami threat to the island of Hawaii. Photos and webcam images showed a towering cloud lifting over the area of the new eruption. The cloud even appeared to be visible from the telescopes on Mauna Kea, where south-facing webcams captured a view of the summit glow. At 12.21 a.m., the National Weather Service posted a message saying that all available data indicate that the eruption was easing with just a low-level steam cloud lingering. Civil Defense told them that no ashfall was observed near and downwind of the crater, including on Highway 11. They said the eruption may have been primarily comprised of steam. By early Monday morning, scientists were already posting videos of the new activity. One of the fountains within the crater was reported to measure 165 feet tall. HVO quickly published this map, which was constructed from aerial photos in September, but marked up to show the locations of the new activity. Red spots are the approximate locations of fissure vents feeding lava flowing into the bottom of the volcano crater. The scientists noted occasional blasts of uncertain origin are occurring from the new lava lake surface. This is the first eruption at Kilauea in over two years. Things have been mostly quiet ever since the destructive events on the Lower East Rift Zone in the summer of 2018. In recent weeks, however, scientists have been recording ground deformation and earthquake rates at the volcano's summit and Upper East Rift Zone that have exceeded background levels observed since the last eruption. The situation is rapidly evolving and HVO says it will issue another statement when more information is available.